another day, another OpenAI release. That's right, ChatGPT just released plugins. Now, what are they? Well, plugins are tools designed specifically for language models with safety as the core principle. All right, let's give an example real quick. Have you heard about Zapier? Zapier is a platform where you can connect a lot of different platforms together and it allows you to automate things. For example, Google Sheets, if you're using QuickBooks, you can do a couple different zaps and it all connects together. Zapier has a plugin now. That's right, they released it. Zapier's Chat GPT plugin is launching. And this was just the other day. So now you can connect and interact with Zapier's 5,000 plus apps and automate tasks directly in Chat GPT. And the plugin is beta, but it's gonna be rolling out to all Zapier users with Chat GPT Plus. Uh, subscription. So if you have a subscription, if you're paying $20 a month, that's $20 US, uh, you're going to have access to this. Now, why is this such a big deal? Why, why is everyone going crazy about this? Well, you can now automate tasks directly with ChatGPT. And what I would say is because there's so much going on here, write down what is going on with, uh, you know, with your business. What are you trying to automate? And then look at options using Zapier. Let's look at an example right here. Use Zapier. So I couldn't find Yoshi in the leads list. It's possible that you that they haven't been added yet or are listed under a different name. If you'd like, I can help you and add Yoshi to the leads list. Thanks. That would be great. Can you please add her? Then it's saying I I've prepared an entry for Yoshi in the leads list. Please review and confirm. Okay, why is this a big deal? Why we're reading this example? Why is this such a big deal? In the past, using Zapier, you would have to think about the workflow and do all of those steps. You would have to first say, um, "What's my form builder?" I'm using Google Forms, and I'm trying to connect it to ConvertKit. And you would have to get either a Zapier expert or someone that knows how to do automation. And they would have to go and connect everything using chat, chat GPT plugins. You can just talk to it and it will do all the work. And then it says, go check my work. This could be replacing people <laughs> right there. Or if I'm running an agency for automation, I can now use chat GPT to automate or streamline so many things in my processes without constantly going into the back end of Zapier and checking Zaps, doing all these things, or better yet, maybe I don't know the best way of doing this in Zapier, I can now use ChatGPT, it will do all of those things for me. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is amazing to you. Yeah, this is, and by the way, this is just one application, one application with using ChatGPT, right? So there's tons of other platforms and plugins that are going to be using this bad boy. If we look at it, it says plugin developers who have been invited off waitlist can use our documentation to plug in, uh, which then lists the enable plugins and the prompt shown to the uh, language model as well as documentation to instruct the model how to use each. The first plugins have been created by Expedia, Fiscal Note, Instacart, Kayak, it goes on and on, OpenTable, Shopify, Slack and Zapier. Those are just a few. You can see the whole list here, right? So there are tons of different things that you can be doing. For example, Expedia, bring your trip plans to life. Get there, stay there, and find things to see and do. So maybe you're on Expedia and you're constantly looking for the right flight. You can just talk to it and it will do all of the details for you. I, I, I cannot wait to, to use this. That's just one example. Instacart, order from your local favorite local grocery stores. You can be doing that right off the bat. I, I mean, there is so many things that you can be doing. It says we're also we're also hosting two plugins ourselves, a web browser and a code interpreter. We've also open sourced the code for a knowledge based retrieval plugin to be self hosted by any developer with information with which they they'd like to augment Chat GPT. This is huge um, because, say, for instance you want to have a database or like if you're using MySQL or something, using a database that is a lot of information, you could plug it in to ChatGPT and you can ask it like, what's going on with this data or find me this data. It can search that database. It can search that 
it can do that query. It can search for you and with your own information. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, to get access to this, remember, get on to the, uh, to the wait list. I'm on so many wait lists for OpenAI. I wish there was one wait list of like all the features. Can I just get everything when this opens? But you can find out about the wait list, what you're going to be doing with it, the documentation, all of those things. And this is only the beginning. This has been a wild couple of weeks in AI, and it's just going to get better and better. And really, we win because all of these companies are fighting to be first with using AI and using machine learning to help people. Remember, we're not seeing this just to replace jobs or people will not have jobs. Look at this as an advantage to leverage this in whatever field you're in, because this is crazy. There's going to be some crazy stuff happening. Uh, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure that in the comment section down below, you let us know. And then also, too, we have a new thing that we just created. It's called um, it's called um, Docs Connections. So there, if you have a question or anything like that, and you want me to find the best person to, to create this for you, or you need to do something else, um, let us know. Now, you might be saying, well, where where is this page? Well, I'm, I'm getting it for you. Calm down one second. There it is, Docs Connections. If you need help with tech problems, no code, and you're trying to find an expert, either it could be myself or just the network of people that I know that I can connect you with. And if it's a good fit, there you go. The link is down below for Docs Connections. And uh, maybe this is something to help you on AI or something else that you're building. If you like this kind of video, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back with some more AI news, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. There's some crazy news all at once.